Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Noh here. Nothing beats indoor FPV whooping because you're not bound by weather or wind's condition. Whenever you want, you can always go for indoor FPV whooping fun. And for your indoor FPV whooping, today I have another quad to introduce to you. This is Mira Robot S60 FPV Butterfly, a tiny FPV quadcopter, or you can simply call it an FPV whoop, which is total fun to fly very stable, smooth flight performance, good flight times and good FPV performance all around your house. Let me unbox it quickly and then we will go for an indoor FPV whooping session right away. Inside the box it's packed in its own transparent casing with radio, quad, and battery and charger and a small user manual, a brochure type user manual. Now here it is the Mira Robot Micro FPV Quadcopter. There is a 40C 3.7 volt uh, 200 milliamp battery. This is your Mira Robot FPV quad capture. And you have a USB dongle to charge the battery. And finally, a neat little radio with tutti frutti orange colored <laughs> sticks and buttons on it. This is a neat design on the frame. I like the frame design because this is a complete frame, a very tough frame, which houses all the electronics, FPV system, flight controller, motors, and propellers as well. The propellers are properly guarded and because this is a tough frame, so feel free to bump it around the walls or obstacles while you're flying FPV. And even at high speeds, at faster speeds, if you hit the wall, I don't think the frame will actually bend to hit the propellers and that is the reason they didn't give you any spare propellers because they don't think you will be ever breaking any propellers. The FPV system is a kind of uh, all-in-one FPV system with camera and video transmitter. The user manual doesn't say what is the power of video transmitter but I believe this is just another 25 milliwatt micro FPV system, all-in-one FPV system. There's a small button right here that you can use to change frequencies and bands of your FPV system or video your transmitter. Rest, the flight controller board is a 6-axis and 3-axis gyro board all in one with ESCs and everything. And in 3-axis gyro mode, of course, it is more agile and aerobatic capable. And in 6-axis mode, it's very, very fun to fly, very stable and beginner friendly. And that's where you will be flying FPV most of the time because 3-axis mode can get really, really agile and fast to control the quadcopter. It's like having an acro mode. So this is the quadcopter, nice neat little design and here is the radio control. Now first, now first thing is you will see all these buttons which are very, very intimidating and you'll be like, oh my God, too many buttons, what are they doing? Well, first off, uh, sticks, we know what they do. Uh, these two buttons right here, one of them does the calibration and another three are probably free. They don't do much. I, I didn't see much in the user manual as well about these buttons except that this button will calibrate your gyro so make sure your quadcopter is sitting perfectly uh, horizontal and these are your trimmers and in the middle is okay so probably you have to press the ok button and then do the trimming I haven't done any trimming when I flew it it flew just perfect right outside the box on top here you have two buttons one is to bind from one is to bind the radio to your quadcopter and this button at the top right of the radio is actually saying unlock in the user manual. Basically it does not unlock motors, it simply switches your quadcopter from 6 axis to 3 axis gyro mode. So be very careful with this button, this is like having an acro mode right here. Okay. There we go. Nice. There was no pressing the unlock button. This one seems to have a very, very smooth yaw. That means you will be able to control the quadcopter really well in the air. Not like you will be uh, like those toy quadcopters where you have to turn step by step while moving and that actually ruins your FPV experience. For now, this is a very, very nice flying. For now, this is flying really nice and smooth, and seems like there's enough power as well. Yeah, more than enough for the brushed quadcopter.
very smooth flyer. Now, hold on. I am going to press one of these buttons to see what that does. What does it do? Oh, hold on. So this is not unlock button. This button just puts it into 3G mode, which is a kind of aerobatic mode. And wow, it is like, uh oh, it's very, very agile. It just shoots in one direction. So basically it's like an acro mode. It just holds your that stick last position, which it gets and starts moving or keeps moving in one direction. Uh, this is going to be a bit of trouble to fly in this mode because it can get really fast and very difficult to control. Uh, the controls after it gets really fast are like, <laughs> like how to say, um, lots of expo and dual rate. So it responds a little, little late to your controls. So I'm gonna go back to uh, the stabilized 6G mode and that's where this thing is an absolute pleasure to fly. Flies really nice, nice angle of attack. So the speed is also very good for you to fly it around. So far there is no low voltage warming. So we are able to test its uh, flight performance and flight endurance as well. Yeah, as I can see, it's pretty fast. Fast enough for indoor FPV flights. All right, I'm gonna give myself a little challenge here and go through my paramotor cage. There, that was easy. As I mentioned, all the controls are kind of like having dual rates on it already on. Uh oh, no more power left.
You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.